Hey, what is going on, SMT Nation? It's your boy, the SMT. This news coming out of Dish, I always like to give you guys the news for that company because they are the new carrier. We're expecting them to play fourth wheel. You know, now that we've got AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile, kind of the traditional carriers, Dish coming in as the new fourth carrier to uh, replace Sprint, which merged with the T-Mobile company, now all one company. This is the second of tower deals that we now have in place for Dish Network. Uh, The first tower deal was with Crown Castle, so I'll go ahead and I'll switch over to that screen capture here. So Dish inked that deal with Crown Castle back in November, and we reported on it here on the channel. Now we're getting deal number two, and this one is with a company called Vertical Bridge. This is going to include rooftop sites, utility poles, billboards, stores, and monopoles. I believe the Crown Castle deal, the first one that they have dating back to November, was for like up to 20,000 sites. So this one, a little bit different, as this does give them access to 300,000 sites. I don't think they'll be on all 300,000 sites, but that's what Vertical Bridge has in terms of access points. Uh, Those 300,000 sites that they have do include access in 50 different states. All are pre-existing builds. There aren't going to be any new builds for Dish or anything like that. It also doesn't include small cells. So, you know, this appears to be all macro sites. No schedule of release. Dish does have a requirement that they have to uh, accomplish by June of 2023, in which they have to provide coverage for up to 70% of the U.S. population, including access to 15,000 sites. Many people have their doubts about Dish. This may be one of the reasons. If you look at this deal in place, they are sent to spend about $10 billion on their network build, which seems very, very small compared to what the other carriers spend even annually, as AT&T you know, very regularly spends over $20 billion a year. And Verizon spends upwards of $20 billion a year. And we're expecting that T-Mobile might come up to about the $15 billion mark. So the SMT takeaway on this one, another tower deal. They're probably going to need more. I think they need to get involved in some small cells. None of the deals they have up to now has small cells. And you guys know how I feel about that. No better way to densify in between your macro sites. Does that mean Samsung comes into play? Maybe Ericsson? Maybe some additional Nokia stuff? Or maybe there's nothing in place. We don't know. I just hope that we do see some small cells come to the company in the form of their network build very soon. Let me know what you think of this news. Go ahead and drop me a line in the comment section below. The voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.